We are celebrating reaching 700 subscribers today on this lovely community where we are unapologetically ourselves, bold, and celebrating personal style. Thank you so much for being here. You guys mean the world to me. In honor of this, we are gonna be doing a triple Chanel unboxing. We have some really awesome, powerful, bold pieces from the Fall Winter Collection and Coco Neige. So get excited. If you are not already following me on Instagram, please follow me there because that is where I am posting three different pieces of content a day all about fashion, being unapologetically yourself and finding that confidence and empowerment. I've been realizing that I really want to focus more on emerging designers, people running small businesses, entrepreneurs like me, because being a content creator is really very entrepreneurial. It is like running a startup. I'm such a startup person at heart. I am such a person striving for new things, innovation. Like I have invested too much in this old world luxury stuff, which is awesome. For example, I still love Chanel. I still love Prada, but there are so many cool up and coming designers. And I was so inspired by them during the spring, summer Paris fashion week shows. I really want to invest in those people and help them get their pieces out into the world and share them with you guys. Sustainable fashion. And I discovered this Ukrainian brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I am so in love with them. I am going to buy a couple of their pieces for Diwali, which is an Indian celebration, which is coming up. If you guys don't know, I'm half Indian uh, and my husband's fully Indian. So we are going to be celebrating Diwali. I want to get some pieces from them because they're so elegant and all their materials are fully sustainable they're almost a zero waste company and also i love supporting ukrainian designers that are female owned how cool is that that country is suffering so much I can to support those business owners comment below if you guys are interested in seeing more emerging designers and if you have any designers you think i should check out or you know, buy some pieces from that you would like to see me review, try on, etc. Piece that I did think was such a good investment, so worth it. This is from the Metier collection. Chanel has some of the best Metiers in the world. Those are the craftspeople that actually create things like the hardware, the leathers, the tweeds, etc. And I was so struck by the beauty in this piece and the craftsmanship. And that's what I still really appreciate about Chanel, this level of craftsmanship and intentionality. So my friend is coming into town who's also a content creator. Shout out Jessica. And she's been texting me, what are you gonna wear to our dinner? And Jessica, I think I might wear this uh, because she is has this gothic 90s, very sophisticated style. And I think this kind of goes with it. Ah. Uh. Do you guys see this? This is so beautiful. <laughs> ah, it's so cool. Okay, I don't even want to take it out, but if you guys see the craftsmanship and details, it's so beautiful. It is a necklace. I believe it's a choker, but it has these beautiful, unique belts like belt buckles all over it and it's just so cool so unique so maximalist which is my style so bold but then i love that there's actual leather it, it mimics the chanel like the classic chanel strap on the bags but then you have it as a necklace okay <laughs> so happy this was a very and this is something i just don't have i have more funky pieces but I don't have anything that's this level of it almost reminds me of the Tudors if you guys know that time period in history maybe eighth and Boleyn you, you know you guys know what I'm talking about right do you watch the show the Tudors well I'm a big fan of history Tudors meets punk rock it has that element of punk rock but power like it's very very elegant and very beautiful, totally Queen Elizabeth the First vibes. Wow, stunning. 
I feel like when you wear this, you just, like, I will just rock the room. And I love that this piece is so handcrafted and made with intention and so beautiful. So cool. Seriously, look at these details. Like, do you see the beautiful, I mean, it's so unique. Each, each belt buckle has such a unique uh, vibe and such a unique artistry to it. I love Game of Thrones. For example, I love things like Game of Thrones, historical drama. I mean, Game of Thrones is not historical. It is fiction, but it's based on the War of the Roses, which was a time period in England where England and France were at war with each other. Picks and power struggles of that. Let me know, are you guys Game of Thrones fans? Like, was it too much for you? Did you love it like me? Or was it just like too crazy? It's not for everyone. It's not everyone's cup of tea. And yes, the last season was terrible and disappointing, I know. This bag <laughs> reminds me of Game of Thrones. And maybe I'm in my, my setting my boundaries uh, time of my life now. So I think this is definitely what I would wear if I were going to battle, so to speak, in Game of Thrones. But then every day in life, in the modern times, in reality is a battle too. So that's why you need fashion that makes you feel powerful, right? To go into battle. Ta-da! Oh, this is from the Fall Winter Collection as well. Let me know if you guys liked that collection, if you bought anything from it. This is a very badass bag. Okay, not mess with her. <laughs> can you guys even see this in the light? Oh, I don't know. I hope you can see it. It's a beautiful shirling bag. It reminds me of Jon Snow and the, the Men of the Night's Watch. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? The Men of the Night's Watch vibes, but cooler. I would never be in the Night's Watch. I clearly would be in the South or in Dorne, let's be honest, but I still like their outfits and I like their fur drama. This is shirling and it's so elegant. It also came in kind of a brown white, but the black just suits me so much better. I love the textures, how there's this leather, maybe it's shirling, I don't know. Anyway, it's shirling, it's this soft furry shirling and then this like kind of shiny leather and then the gold just <gasps> so good. It came in a bigger size as well, but I prefer a little smaller mini sizes. And then look, this is so elegant. I just love how you open it and then it's like, CC. Mm. This is better than sex. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say. But yes, I could just stroke it. This is like a little pet. It's so freaking cute. Quite a bit of room. And then she also has the, the chain that can be kind of a crossbody or you can basically tuck it inside and make it smaller. I like to kind of make it smaller and cute, but this will be so good in winter. I think it's gonna really pop because I do tend to wear more colorful outfits. So actually I'm noticing like the black is something I'm more attracted to now in bags because my outfits tend to be so crazy and colorful that the bag pops against the beast. Okay, I was not expecting to be so in love with these. I went last week to see the Coco Neige collection for winter items. Coco Neige is so cool, guys. Let me tell you, I was so blown away. They have these ski glasses. And you know, growing up, I always loved Bond films so much and Bond girls. And that's such a fashion reference I have. Love the fact that you really can become a Bond girl in Coco Neige. It really looks like those villain Russian girl skiing. But unfortunately, I don't ski. I live in California. <laughs> I'm kind of not into snow. It's not my thing. I'm more into the ocean and swimming much, but it was really fun just to play around, try stuff on. But these I loved and they're so me and there was only one at the store. 
usually I wear only H&M sunglasses because they're so comfortable and really cool and honestly just really affordable. I have a toddler, so it's like, I'm a little scared. I don't want to ruin these glasses and buy expensive stuff that could easily get, you know, smashed by a toddler, but I'll try my best to be conscientious. This is actually a really beautiful case. It feels so expensive and very well put together. So gorgeous, wow. Oh, these are so good. You guys know red is my new favorite color, right? Dun, dun, dun. So cool. And red rims, which I really love. And then they have the Chanel here at the front. And then the shape is just so good. <gasps> Do you guys like them? What do you think? I really like them. These are my first pair of Chanel sunglasses. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> Ooh, who is she? You guys think I should go skiing now? I think these will be great year round though. I will wear them in the summer, winter, wherever. Uh, they just stand out. They're so cool. Such a vibe. Such a bold, sporty vibe. But powerful. Which is me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate you. You guys are like my therapy. This community is my favorite thing in the world. Thank you so much. And please do follow me on Instagram, Miss Coffee and Cream. And subscribe if you want to see more fashion empowering videos here.